I'm Dominic Cruz. This is Carl Gebert. He is going to be acting out Colby Covington. I am going to be Leon Edwards. Now, both of these guys like to come in southpaw positions, but Leon is a true southpaw. So what makes a true southpaw are a couple key characteristics. One, very good at keeping distance with this lead hand. Now, the key fundamental southpaw are this back hand, this, this back leg, and being able to just keep this space perfect. They always know where they're at because this is their stance all the time. Whereas Colby switches. So now that he's southpaw, it changes my distance. Now it's a lead hand fight and we're gonna see the backhand out of Leon Edwards and we're gonna see him eat up this inside leg kick right here. And we're gonna see him go to the body and we're gonna see him go up high. And that's because we're seeing the southpaw versus conventional stance. So this backhand is gonna land. This is one of his combos. He goes backhand and then he uses that to set up this kick. When the guy's pressuring Leon Edwards, he uses the fence to keep his range. And when you go to pressure, he knows where he's at. He moves, he can counter. He can left straight down the middle. But what makes Leon so dangerous is his effectiveness with the range. He knows even with the back here, he knows he can defend perfectly when he needs to. So he's safe and he can set up his shots. He can go to the body. He can set up his kicks. He knows right where his range at's here in this lead hand fight. Now, if we see the stance switch out of Colby, this is what we saw where Usman was really able to get ahead on him with the left hook. Kobe oh, always stays very fundamental with his strikes in the beginning. Jabs, one twos, then he starts mixing them. Then he makes you miss, spinning back. Then he starts mixing high lows. And what makes Kobe so threatening is he uses his cardio as a weapon. He's not just staying fundamental, taking his time, keeping his space. You see, Leon Edwards does that. He doesn't need to rush. He doesn't need to just create a cardio havoc of a storm because he's so good with his one move at a time. He sets everything up. This inside kick sets up this high kick. This left hand sets up this body kick shot. That's Edwards. But when we're talking about Colby, it's non-stop havoc. Wrestling, get, see your movement, switch. It's just, it's a tornado of cardio that he uses against you to get you panicked, to not be able to read, to get your head low, to get your head high. I mean, this is a pocket fight, ladies and gentlemen. It's literally just standing boxing range in the pocket, see how well you can defend it. So there's a couple key tricks that you see from Colby Covington in his striking, but what makes Colby Covington the best striker is his wrestling. He's always threatening this shot all the time, whether it's down here, whether it's here, whether his head's here, whether he's grabbing here and then grabbing here, there's always a grab he's looking for. So in that mess of high and low, it really opens up Kobe's striking. Some of the techniques you'll see out of him is he's really good at timing this backhand over and over from Sal Paul stand. So he'll get you to back up on this hand and then you think you're out and then he leads with the big looping right hook. Couple shots from Covington. And now a right hand, Usman rolls with it pretty well. Another key fundamental that you gotta watch for Leon Edwards is he's so good at when you get here into the fence and you're pressuring him, he knows right when you're gonna blitz, he knows how to come in, get a hold of you and get to this clinch. And he's so threatening, boom, landing these knees. And when you go to try to get to his legs or try to pummel with him, he knows how to get the angle, break away and get back to the space that he wants. And that's what's so tough about Edwards is it's not just the striking, the precision striking in the space. Once you get past his comfort zone of space, he knows how to get a hold of you, grab you so that he can stop you from hitting him. And it makes him so difficult to time, so difficult to find his range because the range is where he wants. And in the second, it's not there. You, you don't have anything on him. And his takedown defense has gotten so much better. So keep a lookout to watch Edwards. Don't sleep on him, throwing these knees in the clinch. And then also looking for the elbows. The left elbow is going to be very clutch. So first of all, here's some of the shots that you can see out of a, a high level college wrestler like Colby Covington. One, he'll wait and he likes to get his head on the outside. It's called a high crotch. So that's get your head here, get your head up. So it starts down and you get your head up at the end of the shot. And look at that. Excellent job by Colby. He'll get this top leg right here and then he'll keep his hands locked and he'll just stay here on you and beat you and beat you. We saw this with Jorge Masvidal. This is big for Covington. You'll yep. be able to control him on the ground the first round when he's fresh, take him down, hold him down, beat him up. Another shot you'll see out of him. So he'll do a head on the outside right here. He'll wait for the left hand and he'll get his head right in there. And he'll lock his hands and then he'll turn the corner right here, finish the takedown. 
Every single time he'll stay on top of you. The guy's gonna crawl to the fence. He gets behind him, makes him work all the way back up while he beats him up. He gets his top leg, rinse and repeat. But Colby just wearing on him, just grinding. Now he's carrying his weight again. So what makes Colby tough with his wrestling is it's never just one shot. His head's gonna come here when he shoots. His head's gonna come here when he shoots. He's gonna come here. He's gonna grab a leg, transition. Come back to the upper body, look for trips. Clinch, knee, go back to a double. And that's what's tough is, Colby Covington's wrestling is like cheating in between. He's elbowing you, he's changing, he's punching while he's wrestling. So it makes his striking so much better. He's very dangerous in the mix of his grappling attempts and his strikes. All right, fifth and final round. Let's this, see what Edwards has left. But he's got to do something big. I'm ah! built like this. I'll go to the goal's done. The only now to me is I couldn't do it. The only that I couldn't do it. Look at me now. We know that whenever you're going to see Colby and Southpaw, we show some of those techniques. Now, whenever we see Colby in conventional, we got the iconic kick that we saw Edwards land on Usman. And that's always there. And the reason is because of this hand fight, guys. This hand fight sets the leg up right where he wants. Now look, my back leg is lined up perfectly with his head if I have this lead leg position. It also sets up my back hand and it also sets up my right hook just by moving my foot outside. That's what you're gonna see. And that's what he's able to do with this back leg because he's blasting the inside, he's blasting the body, he's blasting the teeth. All those are setups. And then, as we saw, fifth round, last minute of the fight, he lands that kick because of all that time spent blasting these weapons, and then it comes. Oh, Joe, we were writing his obituary. Colby's a little shorter, and we've got Edwards, who's really good at keeping the space. He stays in his stance, and he's so good at keeping the range at kicking range, where you can't get to him. And so we know that. So how do you make a taller guy shorter? One, you move him back on his heels. And this is what it called, Colby does so well by switching stance. It's like hard to read and it gets you moving back while you're thinking of what he's gonna do. That's one thing. Another thing is Colby threatens the shot. See how you have to step back or drop your head. So if you decide to not respect the shot threat of Colby and you just stand your ground, you at least gotta change your levels. There, we at least got a level change. Now that he's changed the levels, I can set up my shot. Oh, big uppercut from Covington. And that allows for another level change and a dunk. And so what's tough about Colby is to make guys shorter, to make them come down, he threatens the shot. When you come down, he uppercuts you. When you when you see the uppercut, he overhands you. When you see the overhand and the uppercut land, you bring your head up and he gets the double. So he mixes it perfectly with timing to get your head down when you when you want when he wants it, front headlock or punches, and to get your head up when he wants to hit you with overhands or kicks. He knows how to get your head to move and make a tall man shorter because of the threats of wrestling. Nice hands from Covington. Well, he's doing a great job mixing it up. I mean, that's what's offsetting Lawler right now. He boxes for a second, drops to the ankles. Drops to the ankles, comes up, boxes again. Now, some of the things that you saw out of uh, Leon Edwards that made him so effective was the takedown defense against Usman. Always in that fight because obviously Usman's the champ. So what, what Edwards did is he used the fence if we're out in the open and you get in on the hips, it's hard to defend. But here, the fence behind me, when you even get deep on a double, we're here. As long as I get my feet parallel to the fence right here, I can defend for the most part because it's hard to get your fingers behind the knees. And it's hard to get this hand over here behind my butt where he can lock his hands. That's, what I do. That's ideally what he wants. So what I do is I stay here. What you see Edwards do so well is he stays here with his feet apart so that you can't clinch your hands together. And he just punching, punching. That's one thing. Another thing he's good at is keeping this hand real deep on this shoulder, pulling it up. So if this shoulder can drop, he can get to my knees. But if I keep this and I pull it up right here, I can wizard this guy this way, you see? So it's called a wizard because this overhook right here, let me show you, this overhook right here, pulls him forward. And so that's how he's, ideally when he's in on the double, I'm using that to pull this guy forward. And then once I get a little bit of space, this is what Edward's so good. He keeps this wrist and then he just moves. Very slick, very quick, because all your weight's pushed up against. And then all he does is just bump, 
boom. It's very athletic, very fast, and it's very like elusive because you're just out of there like a ghost very quickly. Colby knows this move, okay? We're gonna be honest, Colby's seen this a million times. So the fundamentals that will work that will work the most, hand control, one. This hand right here that's on my leg, I need to be pulling it up and I need to get an underhook on this side or this side. I need to be under the armpit. If I'm over the top, Colby can take me down. So what you'll see is this gets jacked up, this gets pulled up, you see it all the time. And then when they try to switch sides, you're out because you got an underhook. The other one is this side. We keep this hand, we push, and we walk this way. That works as well. These are two of the keys that we see at Edwards. And one of the main ones also. This, he gets, his, he gets this lock, and he just jacks you up. And then when you're trying to go for the shot, he's got these knees that he can land. And he does it by just keeping this space with this shoulder locked right here. And that, the knee gets pushed exactly like that. It nullifies, but it also gets me off the fence. So these are great tools that you see out of Edwards that he was able to stop a lot of takedowns in his career.